Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luciano and in this video I am going to be showing you 10 tips and tricks for your iPhone XR. So the first one that we have is how to send an emoji stickers through iMessage. So what you're going to want to do is go into your iMessage to whoever you're going to send it to, click on the an emoji one and press and hold. And then drag it to the message. You can do that with a whole bunch of other ones. Just get the facial expression that you want and then send it. And you can even cover up other ones too. Next, I'm gonna be showing you how to hide pictures from your Photos app, you know, in case you have some pictures that you don't want other people seeing. So what you do is you go ahead click on the picture, go to the bottom left, the little box with the arrow, and then you slide over to where it says hide, and then you click hide photo. Your photos aren't going to show up with all your other photos in the albums, but if you go all the way down, you'll see where it says other albums, it'll have one that says hidden, and that's where your hidden photos will be. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to change the different video formats for when you're trying to record. So you go to your settings and then scroll down to your camera. And then where it says video record, it'll show you the different formats. You have 720p, you have 1080p, and even 4K. So when you choose one, let's pick one at 4K and you go to your camera. On the upper right hand corner, it is actually going to show you which format you're going to record in. So let's show you another example. On the top, it says 720. You can also choose the different formats for when you record in slow-mo. In slow-mo, you have 1080p at 120 frames per second and 1080p at 240 frames per second. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to look at your battery chart. And so you're going to want to go to settings, go down to battery, let it load, and it will actually tell you what apps have been using the most battery power. So as you can see right now, you can check for the last 24 hours. You can even check by hour by pressing on the little chart, and it will tell you which apps used up how much percentage of your battery. You can do that for the last 24 hours, and you can also do it for the last 10 days. And it'll tell you which apps you use the most. The next feature that I'm going to show you involves Siri. So if you're using your desktop or your laptop and you want to log into a, a website and you forgot your password and you have it stored in your phone, you can actually ask Siri for it. It'll send you to it, it'll show your username and your password, and there's even an option for you to go and change your password on that website, which is pretty cool. Next, I am going to show you guys how to customize your control center. So you want to go to settings, scroll down to control center, customize controls, and as you can see, you can add any little widgets that you would like. You can organize them in any fashion that you'd like, and you can even remove some ones that you don't use and ones that you do want to use. The next tip that I am going to show you guys is actually how to type your commands to Siri instead of saying them out loud. So first we have to enable that. So we are going to go to settings. We are going to actually go to general then accessibility and then you're gonna find Siri whoops and then enable type to Siri and that I will allow you to type your commands to Siri instead of saying it to her the next trick that I'm going to show you guys is how to move multiple apps at once 
So if you're trying to organize your apps and you find that moving them one by one is taking too long, or if you just want to group similar apps together, what you can do is move the apps. What you can do is move multiple apps at once. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the first app that you want to move, move it a little bit so that the X above it goes away. And with another finger, tap the other apps that you want to move along with them. And then you just go ahead, move the apps and release. And you can do that multiple times. Just make sure that the little X goes away before you start tapping on the other apps that you want to move. The next trick that I'm going to be showing you guys is how to send your location to someone via iMessage. So one way of doing it, there's actually two, is you go up to their contact, click on info, and then it says send my current location. Another way of doing it would be to just type in I am at and it gives you an option to send your current location to that person. The last trick that I'm going to show you guys involves the calculator. Not many people know this, but let's say you're t punching in some numbers, some math that you're doing, and you accidentally press a number that you didn't want in there. Instead of clearing out all of the numbers, you can just swipe left on the last number that you punched in and it'll actually delete it instead of clearing out all of the numbers. Just swipe left and continue on with what you were doing. All right, so those are the 10 tips and tricks that I have for you guys for now. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to leave your comments down below and let me know how I did. Thanks.